Hello everybody, this is Joe Blogs of Hybrid Music with you today on YouTube or wherever you're seeing this. If you've heard of us before, it's probably for either our Hybrid Music Player app or our first hardware music player, the R6, which has just enjoyed a successful Indiegogo campaign. Well, we are wrapping up that campaign and after the Chinese New Year, we'll be ready to launch something new onto the market. This. Alright, what do you see here? Firstly, we see it's a tiny device fitting in the palm of my hand. And secondly, we see it is browsing the Tidal library. Now, if you haven't heard of Tidal, it is a predominant online music service throughout much of the world for streaming high-quality, lossless music. Quality starts at 44.1 kHz lossless and goes up to 96 kHz and beyond via the high-res compression technology you may already know about. Well, this tiny device will be able to stream these tracks from Tidal via Wi-Fi. And when I say tiny, I mean this will be the smallest, lightest device to hit the market with this capability. What won't be the smallest is the touchscreen. Because as you see, it is almost a full surface touchscreen with very little bezel. Again, less bezel than anything you will see come out in this time period. If we look around the rest of this player, we see the same asymmetrical hardware button scheme as on the acclaimed DAO 6, same complements of both single-ended and balanced headphone outputs, and what you might not see here is it's got both di bi-directional USB audio and bi-directional aptX Bluetooth. Bi-directional USB audio means you can use this as a very high quality USB dongle for getting headphone audio out of your new smartphone with no headphone jack. And as you can see, the R3 is quite small and light enough for that. Meanwhile, the RNA support means you can losslessly stream many music formats from any compliant device. Hybrid Link lets you put the player wherever you want it and control its full high res playback from the even bigger screen on your cell phone. And of course, there's also a micro SD card slot for up to 400 gigs of onboard music storage. In short, this is a tiny device chock full of connectivity. And we didn't skimp anything on sound either. It's got that same upscale ES902 Q2M DAC as its big brother, the R6. Okay, it's got only one of them, but that just means you lose 3 dB of theoretical dynamic range down from what, 132 dB to 129 dB. Still good enough to go from resolving a pin drop to blasting you deaf if you want. And one more piece of good audio news. We have customized the amplifier section this time so that this will have below 1 ohm of output impedance. And all this goodness will run for 10 hours continuous playback time and 60 days of standby time. Well then, see you on Kickstarter when the time comes.